we've had to cancel through September and possibly now into October. So that makes me feel almost like they were intentionally trying to cover it up. That is Ashley Deutsch. She rents out an apartment in Sheboygan to guests for short stays via the app Verbo. And business had been going well until recently. Guests damaged the apartment earlier this month, $200,000 worth, according to Ashley. She reached out to us, writing that she was trying to create awareness before people rent houses or property. Our Sheboygan County reporter Mackenzie Hamill talked with Ashley today to find out what happened. So every time you took a step, water would be squishing out from the floors. The aftermath of a bad night at a vacation rental in Sheboygan Falls. Owner Ashley Deutsch is still trying to process what happened and why. We woke up at around four o'clock in the morning from all the notifications we were getting from the, the camera outside the door. <laughs> Drinks in hand, stumbling and slurring their words. Why are you in the streets? The sink was clogged with pizza and things that they might have had um, at dinner time. And they left the water running for hours. 640 gallons of water. You can see in the camera footage the two men throwing towels, bedding, and rugs down the stairs, all soaked. <laughs> and later devising a plan for how to cover it all up. But right now, I get this. You can say we woke up to it. It's so frustrating to hear them trying to come up with lies to excuse their behavior as he's wringing out a towel with his feet. The rental wasn't the only thing damaged. The downstairs unit was hit even worse. This was normally our supply room. Jamie Princeton opened her tattoo shop less than nine months ago. Now she's closed through at least the end of September. This is how it used to look. Hundreds of hours of work into making this studio what it was and just seeing all of that just kind of ripped away. That morning, she stopped to check on her business. Expecting nothing, and it was just soaked. Oh my God. It's a hard pill to swallow, but the priority is getting Jamie back up and running as soon as possible. We had to start selling some of our things, <laughs> which to kind of upfront some of these expenses as well right now. And as legal action takes its course, I think that we will come back a lot stronger. They'll continue supporting each other as fellow business owners often do. In Sheboygan Falls, Mackenzie Hamill, TMJ4 News. Just awful. Mackenzie is our Sheboygan County reporter, so if you would like to connect or share a story idea with her, you can email her with to, at the address on your screen.